So sometimes being a dad requires adjusting. And one of the adjustments I'm having to make today is putting my two lifts together. So I got to smoosh together an arm delt day and a leg day all in one due to some scheduling stuff this weekend. Wasn't able to train yesterday, got stung by a bunch of wasps. It was terrible. But now that I'm combining these workouts together, I need to focus on how I'm gonna restructure my intra workout nutrition in order to optimize my lift, get the most out of it possible. So I had a nice big meal this morning, so I definitely have some carbs in me. So the focus is gonna be here, making sure I'm adequately hydrated and tackling some of the other components of intra workout nutrition. Well, the first things I'm gonna do is just take some aminos. I already had some before my lift, so these are more so BCAs, honestly, just for some water flavoring. I'm also gonna add in some of these drip drops, some, some extra electrolytes with closer to like a two, two and a half hour session today. And it's hot and I train in sweats cause I'm crazy like that. I'm gonna definitely be sweating a ton. So adding some extra sodium, potassium, et cetera, to help make sure I'm hydrated during my lift is gonna help with the pumps performance, et cetera. There's also some carbs in here. So there's 30 grams of quick acting carbs. But on top of that, I wanna make sure I hit my, my personal goal of closer to 60 grams of carbs during a lift. So I'm actually gonna add in some of these like you know, quick, quick acting fruit bars. These are 15 grams of carbs per bar. So together, this is 60 grams of carbs. It gets me to my goal. The reason I'm adding these in versus typically like more of like a carb powder like I'd use is because during a longer lift, I'm 100% gonna get hungry. So my plan is to actually train my arms and shoulders first. That way I have energy for them. They're lagging body part I'm trying to bring up. I'm gonna take about a 10 to 15 minute break at about the 45 minute mark and eat these and then transition into legs. So yeah, you don't, don't normally wanna eat something super solid like in the middle of a lift because it's gonna have a hard time digesting. That's why I chose something a little bit quicker. We also know that having some carbs pre-workout, the biggest benefit is not even just the performance, but it's the fact that you're no longer hungry, which psychologically helps you push harder. So this is gonna absolutely satisfy that for me. So I know it's a little bit longer video, but there's gotta be a lot of thought that goes into adjusting things when you need to adjust them. You need to consider like your mental state, your physical state, et cetera, if you really wanna drive that optimal performance.